Um, fluoroquinolones have been around for many, many years, so people have had a lot of time to use lots of fluoroquinolones and look at uh, events that occur while they're on fluoroquinolones. So for a number of years, the fluoroquinolones as a class has had a warning regarding uh, uh, neuropathy, uh, CNS effects, uh, muscle effects, and uh, uh, so that's all the quinolones have that on the label, and dolofloxacin does as well. However, there are a lot of other adverse events that are seen with quinolones that we haven't seen with dolofloxacin. So when you look at our labeling, for example, uh, the other quinolones can cause heart arrhythmias, uh, which are, is related to QT prolongation, which is a, a change in the heart rhythm. Dello does not have that, so we've looked at delafloxacin in a couple of specific studies, and then at our clinical data, so we don't have that. And that's very important for hospitalized patients, uh, since many patients, especially the elderly, can have this QT prolongation. So Della doesn't cause that, other quinolones can. Uh, the other thing that we've looked at very intensively have been phototoxicity. So many of the quinolones can cause uh, uh, reactions in sunshine. Della doesn't have that. And in addition, there's things like liver abnormalities and sugar or glucose abnormalities. And uh, the other quinolones have warnings in their label, and delafloxacin doesn't. We haven't seen uh, hepatotoxicity, liver toxicity. We haven't seen wildly uh, different changes in glucose and sugar in the blood. So those are the areas where Della is definitely uh, has an advantage over other quinolones in that it does not have that labeling.